I cannot believe that the day has come to finish this video. It is almost a year in the making, at least nine months, <laughs> just like the baby. But behind me is Indiana James's nursery. And this is a room in our house that has been basically, I would largely say, a storage space disguised as a double bedroom for about 14 years until it finally officially became a nursery last August. Um, the process was long, laborious and challenging. At one point it hospitalized me. I'll tell you more about that when we get inside. But first I'm going to share with you some of the footage that I took last year as I began to sort through the room and prepare it to be transformed into the gorgeous nursery it is today. I did unfortunately lose some footage over the course of the last few months. So I might reference one or two things or one or two previous clips that don't exist, but overall it will not distract. You still get to see a really solid before and you will get to see a really stunning after as well. I hope you enjoy. This is your before shot. The room at probably its very, very best. Like I mentioned, we are gonna skip forward to me sorting out the room and this is kind of where some of the footage has gone missing that I kind of reference, but it really won't distract um, from the overall chaos you're about to see. Believe it or not, I have been making headway <laughs> in the redecoration. You can see that some of the furniture is gone from here. I have relocated it in to the wardrobes and they are now in here. Um, and I think that's gonna make some pretty cool sort of like storage and there's still hanging space up there. And this is a double hang here. Um, I have emptied pretty much um, most of the units here, that's what all this is. Well, also my current hospital bag, because, um, which I will be switching out because this has been packed since I was 14 weeks. Since I was 14 weeks, I have to have a section if I go into labor. So I've had one packed since then, just in case. This is laundry I'm gonna put away. The rest is basically the contents of this. Um, so it's, yeah, but yeah, so far <laughs> it looks a lot worse. And obviously in the meantime, I'm not sure if I mentioned our travel system got delivered. So those large boxes you see dotted around are it. Um, but yeah, so this is a few clothes I have bought and this is was Sophia our daughters at Moses basket and everything we had for her and gifts we received for her um so yeah it does look a lot worse still no paint samples on the wall yet but I'm hoping to spend a part of today sorting through this because we are potentially having guests in two weeks time and obviously the room needs to be somewhat usable at that point. Right now it is not. That's the room I would say at its worst. That's as bad as it got in the process. Just there were things everywhere and it probably solidly took me those two weeks to prepare the room for our visitors. And even then it was kind of an empty shell with a bed in it. And now we come to the part I know that you're all waiting for, the big reveal. It's crazy, that last clip you saw was filmed on August 10th. And that is what, five or six months ago. Indiana is here, as many of you already know. He is actually 15 weeks old as of yesterday. 
Um, it's his christening this weekend. It's just, the time has just flown by in this amazing, you know, blur. <laughs> but here we go, because I know this is why you're all here. You want to see the after. Before I open the door and show you everything, I will try and mention where I got things. Um, but if you have any specific questions, do let me know. Here we go. Here is the sneak peek. Ooh. But first, a quick reminder of what it looks like. Now that you have seen an overview of his nursery, let me take you around to each area, it's not a big room, <laughs> and talk you through it. Hey Google, turn on the lights. Obviously we have just come through his door here. Immediately inside the door, you'll see he's got his hamper and a doorstop, his diaper genie, and then the, I suppose, changing station, and his chest of drawers. Um, the changing station, I, or the changing mat, I got on Amazon. This was one of his Christmas presents, the lovely little... A holy water font my parents gave him. This print uh, has been with us since our honeymoon. We bought it in Mauritius when we were on honeymoon and we only framed it for this room. Um, the basket is just full of some dribblers, tissues and some hand sanitizer. We have some toys here and this fabulous hair lamp and um, I got on Amazon as well and we just keep some of his binkies in here these are actually the ones he will use when he's slightly older and you can see he's got a Google which controls his room his music um, and his stories just hiding behind there this is my feeding area. I've got this fabulous rocking chair. This rocking chair has actually been in my family for quite some time. It was my grandfather's and it was completely different. Um, my mum refinished it and reupholstered it for me. And I just have, you can see my water, my iPad for watching stuff and a few of his books tucked in the back. There is a foot still to go with this as well, but it's not 100% finished just yet. 
these fabulous curtains and you can see they're kind of twinkling at one sec I've closed them over so hopefully you get the full effect you can see they're kind of twinkling um, they've got little stars on them I got these on Amazon for I think like 24 pounds something like insanely good value I love them they are uh, semi blackout as well they if you go for it there is a darker gray version if you go for the dark dark gray they are full blackout but I love them Indy doesn't sleep in this room yet we just use it for feeding and for playtime and so I may put a black up blind up when he um will sleep in here but even currently where he sleeps either for naps or during the night he doesn't need a blackout blind he actually sleeps really well and really easily um on his windowsill which hopefully you can see these are some teddies i've had for years i actually got this one when i was 13 so really really old and i don't know if you can see it but this is one of the images from my maternity shoot. I just love it. This is a little sign that has all of Indy's details on it. So cute. Up here, we have a selection of his books and his monitor for when he's in here. As I said, he occasionally may nap here, um, but he doesn't sleep here yet. Um, this fabulous mobile I got from a seller on Etsy. These cloud lights are originally Ikea, but I had to buy them on Amazon because Ikea no longer do them. And this beautiful decal is Amazon as well. Here's a selection of his teddy bears. I refinished the uh, wardrobes with the paint. And as you can probably see, absolutely every unit has these fabulous cloud handles. Again, Amazon. Um, and this is the unit that hospitalized me. So when we unpacked this from, the, from Ikea, some of the boxes, the first boxes we opened were actually like an unfinished wood and I was convinced we had somehow, despite the boxes saying it was white, picked up the wrong box and I got super stressed. My blood pressure shot up. I got really dizzy because I just felt, oh my God, it took us so long to go to Ikea that day and I was heavily pregnant and it got too much for me. The following day I had an appointment in the hospital. They asked me how I was. I told them about the incident and they immediately admitted me purely because my blood pressure was still high and I had start to spot a little bit. And because of my high risk pregnancies, they were taking no chances whatsoever. So I ended up in hospital for a week because of this, this unit. <laughs> so this is pretty much his, his whole room. Uh, we've got his little play gym down here, a couple of toys, obviously that he is too young for over here and more books in here. This was a built-in wardrobe already, so we did not um, add any of this in. And this is a fabulous photo of our rainbow baby with the rainbow colors from his newborn shoot, which I just love. So I'll give you one more quick sweep. Um, and I think I've covered everything. Um, as you may have heard when I told Google to turn everything on, the room is, most of our house is controlled by Google. Oh, the lampshade is from the range. Um, any questions, let me know. I am so thrilled to be sharing this with you. Um, really thrilled. But I hope you enjoyed 
this look at Indy's room. I will probably do a um, nursery organizational tour um, in the coming weeks. So do check out, do check that out. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. I have my next sort of like renovation project that I have planned is actually for our ensuite. I hope to be doing that during February and to share it with you sometime in March. I'm very excited about it. I am setting myself a strict budget and it's only going to be a revamp as opposed to a complete uh, renovation. But um, I shall talk to you soon, guys. Thanks. Bye.